California Democrat Congressman Ro Khanna joins you now. Uh, Representative Khanna, you heard some of your, you know, folks, uh, Democrats presumably out there saying it's like Afghanistan. Uh, once, one making a poignant uh, comment that without basic safety, there is no community. What do you tell these people? Well, there's no doubt that in certain cities in California, the crime is a huge issue and we need to have better law enforcement. You can't just break in to a Target or Walgreens and not have consequences. You can't just engage in carjacking and not have consequences. People do have to be arrested if they commit these crimes and they have to help be held accountable. In Silicon Valley, you know, we have $10 trillion of market value. We have a lot of businesses and we have, uh, we enforce the law. I mean, we have basic public safety in San Jose and Fremont and other safety, uh, which makes it some of the best areas to raise families. And I believe that should be the standard around California. Yeah, yeah with all due respect, <laughs> I, you know, I mean, what you're saying is kind of um, heartbreaking in a sense that I've looked at Apple's headquarters. It's, you know, it's not, it's, it, you can't just stroll there, right? It's in this isolated area in the middle of the forest, and it's a nice, everyone goes, and they're inside this nice little circular tube, and they, they work, and, and then it's the same thing with all these Silicon Valley companies. They have their own headquarters that's off the beaten path, and, and, and it's great. They have, you know, you, have, you go to their homes, and they live in mansions. That's great. What about middle-class folks? What about poor people? Are you going to just let them fend for themselves? Are we going to see scenes like that where just people have to take, take the, a, a, a tire iron and, and try to fight back against criminals? Is it going to be a modern-day wild, wild west? Well, Charles, you should come to my district. There are probably your working-class folks who, who live there. I mean, I'll take you to Sunnyville. I'll take you to San Jose. I'll take you to Fremont. We can have some good Indian food, Vietnamese food. Uh, you know, it's a very diverse district, and we have public safety in my district. You know, I'm responsible for my district. It's not just tech companies. We have a, right. a lot of public safety. So, we value our so, sir, police sir, officers. I, I really we, respect we you a lot, safety. Representative Khanna, but we're, we're not talking about the, I mean, you're telling me about how great your district is that's fine you have to admit companies are leaving your state people are leaving your state you just heard from hundreds of business owners in Oakland it's suffering it's a it's a it's it's a it's just suffering do you what are you saying to them well they you can arrest people but if they're back out the next day or even a couple hours later shouldn't it be a top to bottom changing of the laws remember I remember this was a three strike state right you went too far there you would put people in prison for life because they sold a loaf of bread as a third crime but the pendulum has swung back the other way too far I agree with that. I was opposed to three strikes. The pendulum, though, can't be the other way, which is if you go commit a crime, you have to have the consequences, especially if you're doing something as blatant as uh, carjacking, if you're doing something as blatant as breaking into a store. What I would say to folks is in our district, there are models in Sunnyville, for example, where we have effective public safety. And right. I would say, why can't we do that in every part of the state? But you're right. There are some of the cities that aren't enforcing the law, and it's wrong. Before I let you go, I got to quickly switch gears, of course, and ask you about the indictment against uh, uh, Senator Bob Menendez. Uh, do you think that he should resign in line of these bribery, bribery charges? Well, it's sad. The allegations are shocking. I agree with Senator Booker and many of my New Jersey colleagues that he probably can't be effective. And ultimately, it's for New Jersey to decide. But beyond the resignation, what we need is reform. I've called for banning lobbyist money, having term limits for members of Congress, not having stock trading, making sure that we don't have members of Congress become lobbyists. When are we going to talk about systemic reform uh, in this Congress as opposed yeah. to just looking at individual cases? Representative Conner, if I had a tambourine, I would, have been, I would have been playing it while you were running off that list. I'm with you on every single one of them. Thank you very much for joining Appreciate us.